Mushroom Gecko. Hey guys, Mushroom Gecko here. Welcome back to another Minecraft video of Redstone Commanderness of Commandering Stubs. Okay, first of all, let me talk about the downfall because. Okay, I think it's all killed because, like, I have a command block here that kills it at the end. Now, let's explain this real quick. Now, if you actually, if you wanted to use one of those super flat, fast clocks, you could do so. But right here, I have um, <clears throat> a little clock that's going on. It's activating all these command blocks down a row. Let's just focus on this one. First, we're going to test for a selected item in slot 0 in your inventory. Slot 0 is the first one that I'm holding the bow in. That's slot 0. And you're going to test for if the item's name is, dis is Radius Ghost. The next one. Well, if that's detected, it's going to run this clock constantly. And then it's going to constantly activate this block. Which is going to test for the arrow. Which is going to execute an arrow. TP at E type equals arrow at E type equals player. Alright, I don't know what I did there, but I, um, I think it's like testing for the arrow. You execute at E type equals arrow. Yeah, so this one was testing for the arrow. This one is doing it so that... Um, it's doing it so that the arrow affects any mobs in the radius of it, except for the player. So any mob in the radius of the arrow is not affected. No, it is affected, but the player. So if I shot this arrow at the ground, anything in a five-block radius would be hurt, except for me. That's essentially what it did. This one. It's just killing the arrow, because you don't want to have, like, 50 arrows all, the, all over your world, just, like, messing this thing up. Next one. Uh, this is the ore melter. You knew this was coming. All right. All mods... Every single mod, not every single mod, but like a lot of mods and a lot of um, like tech it and all that, has the pickaxes that when you mine a block, it instantly smelts it. Read what this does. Positive, automatically smelt ore. The negative is that it has 100 less durability than, than the normal iron pickaxe. And it also gives you mining fatigue too, so like, it's not OP. So, we're going to go to game mode... Uh, slash game mode. Yeah, is game mode one. Now, what this is doing is that it's testing for the ore melter in slot zero, and it's gonna act. And it's got um. And when it is activated, like when it is in your slot, it's gonna. All right, when you pull away from it. It undoes the mining fatigue, but when you hold it again, the torch goes off. So in, I, so in this command block, test for if you have the ore melter, and then gives you mining fatigue forever. So then it's going to immediately activate this clock, which constantly keeps going around and around and around. And it's going to test for if you have cobblestone, iron, or gold. And then it's going to turn into a gold ingot, an iron ingot, or a stone. So that's basically what this all does. Don't worry, I'll have all these commands in the description, even though it's going to take forever. But yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Alright, the shotgun. The shotgun is absolutely amazing. You guys probably seen those videos where the bows shoot, like, multiple arrows at, like, the same time. But this is different. This, what it does, test for an arrow in your inventory. Actually, let me shoot this. And if you like shoot it on the corner, uh, yeah, why did it like not go? Hmm. It is not working for some reason. Alright, um... So yeah, what it does is that it's testing for... These are just rotation values, but like... I'm, I'm not even gonna try to see... What these try to test for. But, 
anyways, these test for your rotation, and depending on which way you're looking, it fires arrows. So, like, I'll just put these in the description, but, like, it's going to fire arrows on the top, bottom, left, and right of the arrow of the... So how can I do this? Place this down. It's going to fire an arrow above, to the side, to the bottom, and to the left. All right? And this is the arrow. It's the original arrow. So that's what it's doing. It's okay if you don't get it. I'll put all these in the description. And that is just going to kill the arrow. And then clear five arrows from your inventory. So if you read the positive shoots multiple arrows. But it takes away five arrows instead of one. Because of how many arrows it shoots. Because it's a beast. Alright. Next one we have here is... Uh, oh, life drain. Life drain's pretty cool. Um, is it Dark Soul or? Wait, hang on. Where, where's, where's Dark Soul at? This Dark Soul. You Dark Soul. What Dark Soul? Come on. Don't be shy. Come on, Dark Soul. That's life drain. Is this Dark Soul? That is Dark Soul. All right, life drain. What it does? You guys are gonna probably be peeved at me because of the. It's going to give you instant health upon dealing damage to a mob, but it gives you hunger for 10 seconds. You guys probably hate me now, but if you go over here, well, like, but the life drain, I will show in a second, and you guys will probably be a bit happier, all right? But it's going to basically test for the one in your slot one, and it's going to test for if you have a damage score of one. So if I go to slash scoreboard... Um, objective low. That's Dark Soul. That's Life Drain. Hang on. Oops. Hang on. So, like, as you see, my heart, they're going down. But if I hit it, it, it heals me. Heals. 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 So, yeah. Pretty cool. But your hunger does go down. So, I suggest while having the sword on. Just have a lot of food. Alright. Now, 